What is good? It's your boy M, and we're back with another cool board review from Dogtown. May I present to you the Dogtown Web. This is a, an iconic uh, team board from the 80s. It's a reissue. It's got a modern concave. Uh, this bad boy is 10 inches across. Pretty wide board, 10 inches wide. Here's the uh, front side. Still in the package. Uh, still in the plastic, should I say? Still in the plastic. Uh, the graphics, true OG, how it was back in the day. I always wanted this board. Uh, I used to see this board a lot in Thrasher Magazine back in the day. And uh, the team riders would use this board. They did a, a scallop cut along the edges for Aaron Murray, who lost a finger. And when uh, he had his board through Dogtown, his also had the scallop edges as well, just for grit. So I thought that was cool. Um, I think this board right here is pretty legit. I, I love this board, but um, I do, I, I'm a big fan of graphics on boards. I was one of those kids that tried to preserve as much as I could, but I still wanted to go hard on it. Um, when I was a kid, I think I, I lost all that as a teenager. Once we started skating the popsicle sticks, we just didn't care. We just were more interested in tricks and less about the graphics. And it was stupid. It's like, why even have graphics? So, but anyways, I, I, I still bought boards with graphics over popsicles. That's another video. It's another story. Let's stick with this one here. I'm going, I hate when I go off the edge of the rails. When I go off the rails, I just, <sighs> anyways, uh, this board right here is pretty is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know if they're still reissuing these. This was a board that I, I had gotten a while ago and I just didn't have a chance to do a review on it yet. But I just wanna do my older back catalog of boards before I get into the more newer recent boards that um, people have given me. But for now, this board was pretty cool. You were able to get it for like 60 or 70 bucks. And you can probably still find them here and there. They're just a little bit, uh, slightly more expensive like hundred dollars but still worth it it's not too bad if you save your your money uh, unfortunately I, I can't get a second one unless someone gives it to me but for now this is gonna be a wall hanger because I do love the graphics on it just iconic spider skeleton hand gri grabbing the, the spider such a cool board you'll see it in classic thrasher magazine so there it is, the Dogtown Web. Great for pool riding, any kind of vert. Uh, a little too wide for street, unless you keep it with the old school street tricks. Going off launch ramps or whatever. If, if you still have a launch ramp, good for you, because you hardly see those maybe at a, uh, a skate park, but it's just made out of like concrete and it's just not like a launch ramp. It's more just a, a quarter pipe or, or something to launch onto a rail to grind or something. Anyhow, here's the Dogtown web.